Obviously, the Red Wings are hoping that uh, the lottery balls or whatever you want to call them, the ping pong balls, uh, fall their way and they end up with uh, Rossmus Dowling as the first overall pick in the draft. He's the uh, defenseman version of uh, Austin Matthews or you know Connor McDavid. Uh, he's a generational talent. I mean, nobody will not tell you that. Everybody does believe that, including the Red Wings, uh, people that I've talked to there. So he, he would be a no-brainer. Uh, for the first overall pick. But the chances of the Red Wings getting the first overall pick are fairly minimal. So, okay, what do they do? It's a deep draft. You hear that over and over again. Uh, the question is, uh, there's a bunch of defensemen. Uh, two of them are smaller, but uh, outstanding puck-rushing defensemen. Uh, Adam Bovquist from uh, Sweden uh, is an extraordinary uh, talent, but he's smaller. Uh, same with Quinn Hughes from the University of Michigan, outstanding player, but smaller. Uh, five years ago, they'd be drafted in the middle rounds. Ten years ago, they might have, might not even be drafted. Uh, but the dynamic of the game has changed. You've seen Tory Krug from Michigan State and Livonia Churchill High School, uh, who's played with the Bruins for a long time after not even being drafted. So smaller defensemen who can carry the puck of great value uh, because forward checking has kind of become the – this era's uh, neutral zone trap, and you need somebody to help you get out of that. And the Red Wings desperately need that. The thing is, and there's other defensemen, Evan Bouchard, uh, Noah Dobson, some names you might hear leading up to the draft. Ty Smith uh, would be another one. But there are a lot of good forwards. And there are two power forwards. Uh, uh, Shmetchnikov's brother uh, is an outstanding prospect. He's a beast. And uh, he's a tremendous player. And also... Uh, when you look at somebody that's a power forward, Brady Kachuk is a is a clone of his brother Matthew and his father Keith. Uh, he's going to go in the you know top ten easily, maybe the top five. And then there's also somebody the best goal scorer is a kid named. And people don't talk about this kid, uh, Felipe Zadina, but he's probably going to go in the top five. And he's got Patrick Line type of scoring skills. Yeah, they're going to get a good player. They should now. Which of these guys is going to end up being a star? Because a couple of them are probably going to be. A couple of them probably aren't going to be. And uh, the big decision for the Red Wings, which one do you take? Uh, if, uh, indeed, they don't end up with that first overall pick and the no-brainer of Rasmus Dowling.